Hello everyone, in today's video we will see Epsilon NFA. So here this Epsilon is indicating empty symbols. So in this Epsilon NFA, so it also has 5 tuples. Same like uh, DFA and NFA, Epsilon NFA also has 5 tuples. Those are Q, Sigma, Q0, Delta and F. So Q is nothing but number of states and delta is number of inputs and Q0 is the start state, delta is the transition function and F is our final state. So now uh, let's see here. Uh, so without taking any input, by taking input as epsilon, if we are able to move our string to the next state, then that is called as epsilon NFA. So here it is written, let's see. If a finite automata is modified to permit transition without input symbols along with a zero, one or more transition on input symbols, then we get an NFA with epsilon transition because the transitions made without symbols are called epsilon transitions. So, either we are not using any input symbols, but by using epsilon, if we are moving the state and if we are making any transitions, then that is called as an epsilon NFA. So, here we can consider an example start, uh, that is Q0 is the start state and on taking input as epsilon, it is moving to state Q1. And Q1 on taking input as epsilon, again it is moving to state Q2. So Q2 is the final state. So in this example, this is an NFA with epsilon transi transitions because it is uh, possible to make transition from state Q0 to Q1 without consuming any of the input symbols. So we are able to make transition from Q0 to Q1 and Q1 to Q2. But here we are not using any input symbols. Just we are taking the input symbol as epsilon. Epsilon indicates empty symbol. So either with the epsilon we are able to make the transition. So that type of making of transitions is known as epsilon NFA.